Now let's talk about uh, going back, looking at tape from Saturday night's game, just kind of Ray Girl's performance. I mean, obviously, it's a big win for you all. Going back, you said you on the improve on, I guess, from that, or things uh, you're happy about? There's a lot of improve on. Uh, third downs, I know we could have done a lot better third downs. Uh, just me just completing balls, uh, just from offense standpoint, blocking, passing, to running, everything. It's a lot of improve on. I think on uh, defense, we just got to start out faster. We did. We started out a little bit slow. We got to start faster and get them early in the game. I think everybody's uh, talking about the whole bowl situation. How much have you all talked about that as a team, and, and how important is, is this weekend's game, and I guess kind of helping your all's uh, standing in that regard? Uh, me personally, uh, I've been hearing a lot from teammates, but me personally, I'm just uh, taking it. One game at a time, you know, uh, we just win, and uh, hopefully it just happens. You know, uh, obviously right now it's not playing out right, but uh, we just need to take one game at a time and just keep, uh, continue to win, and hopefully something that happens. I mean, we hear a lot about bowls because it's the first time we've been bowl eligible, but we got to take it one game at a time. Like he said, if we don't beat Troy, that's out the door. There's no thought about it. What does that mean to you guys, you know, being uh, a part of the transition, making WKU ball eligible for the first time and being a part of that? I mean, I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't know it was going to happen this soon. I mean, it, it came real fast at the beginning of the year. You know, we struggled and we turned it around real fast. A lot of people was doubting us, and I'm just happy we've been able to turn this thing around and be able to say we can bowl eligible now and did. How do you guys? I, I get the impression from you guys that you're you're happy to get the bowl or to get bowl eligible, but you need this win to help your chances. Uh, I mean, have you sensed any you know that there would be a letdown at all this week, or do you guys feel are you guys still hungry to get that last win to try to make your make your case? I mean, we 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 real hungry. We, we definitely got to get this win this week. This is real big to go seven and five. We can forget about the bowl game right now. We got to focus on short chores. Our bowl game right now. That's how we're going to treat this one. This is big. Hey, well, maybe your best performance <clears throat> of your career um, on Saturday, and you've progressively improved as the season has worn on. Uh, what do you credit that to? And uh, you know, how do you feel like you're in, in a zone right now? I just uh, credit my teammates. You know, they stood behind me when things were going well, and uh, just them making plays. You know, uh, I don't get any stats without them making plays. So I just credit my teammates and just. Uh, just for a person, just never quit, always fight. Talk a little bit about Troy. I mean, I know they're a team that you all have had trouble with in recent years, but kind of down year. I mean, do you look at it still as, you know, they're usually one of the top teams in the Sun Belt and still treat this game that way? Uh, I still look at uh, look at them as a team to beat, you know, because um, they, they're very good to me still. You know, I was telling Coach Tiger I, I really want to beat them just because, I, like I said, they're a team to beat. You know, um, they're standing our way right now, and so why not go out with a win? Kareem, what challenges does uh, the Troy passing game give you guys? Oh, they definitely got a, a good quarterback. They got a good arm. They got some good receivers. They have a receiver with around 700 receiving yards and nine touchdowns. So we definitely got to be on a A game this week when it comes to them passing. I guess you are juniors, but talk about what it would mean to send these seniors out for their last home game. It means a lot, man. And I can always just thank Ryan Beard, Bobby Rainey. Like, I've been through the mist with them. You know, just, uh, I know they're hard work. Just to see them go out and do something good, it means a lot to me. You know, it would be a lot to the team also. It's just <clears throat> seeing night. I know they're going to be juiced up. I'm going to be juiced up. And, uh, I know the guys going to come out there with a lot of passion. Ever since I've been here, those seniors have been real good to me. I haven't heard no negative from them, even when we were struggling. When we were 12 I never heard the seniors get down. They was always the same as they've been now. Like, and so this one is real big. I really want to get this one for them. You think those guys will kind of have the legacy of being the ones that were here through the rough times and carrying it over to, you know, I guess, hopefully for you guys to, well, kind of, like, kind of winning tradition here almost? Yeah, I, I guess everybody on the team can say they're a part of it. But, but you know, uh, they have been in the rough times. Uh, they're just going to look back on it uh, a couple years from now and be like, I was one of the uh, guys on the team that turned the team around. So something they can live with the rest of their life.
K1 Bobby is just 82 yards away from breaking the school's uh, rushing record. Um, you know, he's very, he's always been modest and, you know, at least to us. And I, have you sensed at all that that is something that he's thinking about? And has he talked to you about it all, what it would mean to him to, to have that record? Oh, by running, it's on his mind. <laughs> but uh, he's probably not even thinking about it. He's just going out to do whatever he can to uh, help the team win. You know, if he just happened to uh, rush for 60 yards, but he catches three touchdown passes and he don't break the record, it, it really doesn't matter. It's just, Bobby just out the win.